Centenarian Jean Gaster was born when Hollywood was born. Her mother, a famous cook, served the legends of the silver screen. Two-year-old Jean had a particular favorite. And I said, I want to see Charlie Champlin. He came in and he was doing funny tricks and I could only have the door open about this much to peek in. And I would jump and say, Mama, there's Charlie Champlin, Mama, there's Charlie Champlin. In her teens, she was a dancer, good enough to catch the eye of Florence Ziegfeld. Mr. Ziegfeld came to our dressing room and uh, said he thought that we were great. For Jean, growing up in L.A. meant trips to the beach and later in life, owning and managing her own malt shop. Council on Aging's Maureen Ardren first met Jean in a Fullerton assisted living home. She is full of life and my role model. And I want to be just like Jean when I grow up. The only problem that Jean ha seems to have is, that, is the loneliness. For Jean, reaching 100 means living longer than most everybody you ever loved. Well, then my whole family, with my granddaughter, my daughter, my husband, my mother, my sisters, my aunts, my cousins, outlived them all. Even in loss, the years rush past. As an ombudsman, I'm able to provide the access to the Friendly Visitor Program through the Council on Aging. Jean was introduced to Council on Aging's Bob Haddock. I enjoy him very much. He's so sweet and so nice. When we talk, it's just like like he's, like he's a brother. The secret of her successful aging? It will surprise you. Dancing. Now, Bob, I understand there's something you want to ask, Gene? Could we do a little dance?